Good morning, boys and girls of the internet. In front of me is the Dirty Dodge number two. Might as well just refer to this one as the Dirty Dodge from now on because the other one's just park struck. But there you go. We're here and uh, we're getting ready. Uh, we're going camping this weekend. We picked up a new camper, so we've got to get the truck ready to, uh, to haul it down to the lake. So if you just want to see the camper portion of this video, skip ahead. Otherwise, we're going to dive into greasing everything and changing the oil. On these second gen Rams, it's a straight axle front suspension. So you've got grease points everywhere. You got them on the uh, pitman arm, that stabilizer bar. You got them on the upper ball joint, the lower ball joint, everywhere. So let's just start greasing those up. That one's done. Get the bottom the best I can. So now we'll do these up here. Same thing on the passenger side, so all that's greased up. Now uh, let's check the oil in the different front diff. Took just a little bit. It's got a slow leak on the passenger side axle seal. That stuff you see dripping is water from the air conditioning that was just running. So the front usually just takes a tiny bit and because uh, I'm not going in there to change that seal. It doesn't leak that bad. Rear has a rubber plug. I don't know if you can really see or not, but it's full. So on the Rams, you just, you know, most cars are that way. You fill them up to the fill plug mark and they start to seep out. But this one is right there on the edge. So we're not even gonna bother trying to overfill it and if the rubber plugs start leaking you can buy these from a parts store that's the dorman part logo it's upside down but that's the dorman logo they're like four or five bucks for a new one so you just wait till you see everything start leaking real bad and change it uh, on the last oil change i replaced that one so make sure you hit all your u-joints with grease check for any awfulness uh, my exhaust came apart not long ago so that's got to go to the exhaust shop Plus the muffler is broken apart on the inside. Other than that, the rest isn't too bad up underneath here. She's good to keep on trucking. Uh, we just have to get the exhaust fixed when we get some money. And uh, now let's get on to the oil change. Uh, it's your drain plug. It's a 16 or it's standard. It's a 16. Golly, somebody put the fear of God into that thing last time. Old filter or old drain plugs don't have to be. <laughs> Torque that tight, so let me get something to tap that. Way. It must have just been the one, the one handedness that wasn't working because I used my strong hand, came right off. This is gonna make a mess, it usually catches the front diff a little bit. Not the end of the world, harbor and grooves. Oh, not this time, straight on down. Oil filter located right up above it on the passenger side. <coughs> Let me grab the pliers. Popped it right loose with a pair of pliers. Crack that and let that drain. We're going down the road. And there it is. It's a Wix 501085. You don't have to run a Wix on your car. But it's one of the better filters you can buy. We put the drain plug in, we put the new oil filter on. You can kind of see it. There's the bottom of it right there. So now let's put the oil in it. Uh, today's flavor. I normally run Castrol. Always have. But the uh O O O part store had 1030 high mileage on sale and it's green just like castle so it's, it's the same it's the same stuff so we're gonna put it in there we didn't uh, pre-fill the filter so let's go ahead and I, I dump the whole five quarts in there puts it right at the top of the full mark she's good to go you really don't even have to check it you already know put the whole five quarts in there if you don't pre-fill your filter then come here. Ta-da, 
we go. There's oil pressure, no awful sounds on a dry start. She's good to go. Now it's right on our blank sticker. I just usually wipe it off. That one actually is from 213 because I didn't write it down the last time, but it's okay. We're at 222, 535. Just round up to the nearest thousand for me. So it's gonna be 225 on my next old change. You don't like a hobo. A little bit. A little bit. So we're home now. Dodge truck has been all maintenance fied. We're climbing into the new camper. It's an Eco by Scamper. And wipe your shoes, he says. It's probably just gonna be easier to take my shoes out. So in the Champa, it's not a big one, but we didn't want something massive. So we have washed some extra sheets and stuff, and we're gonna put them on the bed now. Let me go ahead and get some stuff packed up in the camper. So let me zoom out, there we go. So here it is, dining area, microwave. It's got a sink, little propane stove, propane or electric refrigerator. And this unit also has a bathroom with a shower. Thermostat, storage, cabinets, cat. What are you doing, little buddy? What are you doing? What are you doing? You want your little treat. He's ready for his evening treat. So yeah, lots of cool storage. Extension cords. Floor, ground cover things, little element TV. I know I will get it to you in a minute. So yeah, we're gonna get this bed made. What? To show off all the trash in your floorboard. And to, get, and to get my new trailer light connector adapter because I got her hooked to the big red badge. All right, just like that. Let me close this door so I don't hear all that dinging forever. Boom, look at that. We got one light out on the corner up there I didn't think about. Got a tag light, got tail lights, side markers. Oh yeah, those lights off and hit our blinkies. Blinkies. It's the next day. We're all packed up. Camper's full of stuff. We're in the dirty Dodge. And yeah, let's uh we're a little bit behind schedule. Well, we're actually right on time, I guess. But our first stop with this rig is fuel because she empty, empty. <laughs> so let's get gas. Well, making pretty good time. Hoses and 
so we might stop at Walmart, but the, I don't know if we're going to have time to go to Walmart and make it to the campground. The campground stops or closes at 10, like the gate does, so we're going to be cutting it close. It's already 25 after 8 p.m. Oh, we got a Chevrolet coming around us. Come on, Chevrolet. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Let's go racing. Anybody else? Any tankers? We've had an F-150 behind us for miles now. And we get going up some of these hills and we're down to 45 or so cruising along. And he is a trooper. He's just hanging back there. He's, he's not in any rush. Uh, two more cars behind him. We're running 55. That's the speed limit. I know I they're wanting to go way faster than that, but towing a camper. And I just keep it right over here, nice and cozy. But anyway, gotta figure out something to do. We've got water in the uh, gray water tank, or the holding tank has fresh water in it. Or, I'm sorry, the fresh water tank has water in it, but I don't know how much. So, we'll figure something out. Disconnected from the truck. We're at the campsite. It's got that hooking up par. Oh, upside down. That yeah. was upside. Down. Yeah. Right here. Now, breaker's on. Camper's plugged in. Water's on. Got a pressure regulator on there. I didn't need this after all. That's good. What'd you say, Mama? Sir? What did you say? <laughs> All right, then. Oh, yeah. That's what I was wondering. Got the blocks underneath it, got it leveled up. This will be a YouTube video. It will. <laughs> Cody's putting his lights on his awning. We got the tent set up. Cody can't figure out how to do it. So inside, got the lights and stuff on. I've already bled the air out. Then we've got fresh water now for city, huh? air cranking all the pretty lights on plugging it up to the power supply shore power should i'm assuming switch everything over or put from the battery i really i don't know how that works i'm assuming i don't know I need to do some googling but anyway we're just about all set up now i gotta get the fan to mom's tent get our bags and stuff in here and we're we'll be ready to rock and roll then because he's got to get his lights on though Okay, so everything outside is pretty much set up for the night. It's already dark. I'm inside, we got the air on. I'm gonna eat one of them little hungry man dinner things. Cody laid up in bed already. So that's gonna be it for setting up. It was late when we got here. So when the sun rises, we're here. Um, there's a fishing competition going on here on Lake Kiwi this weekend. I'm going to try to get up in the morning because Jody is part of it. And we're going to try to get some shots. I don't know how much you can go to see, but they leave out at like 5 a.m., 5.30, something like that. We'll get up, try to get some clips of the boats leaving out from the little marina over here. And uh, then we can show you the camp set up in the day. But so far, everything seems good. I've got it pretty level. Door's a little funky closing besides that. Everything's good. Water's good. All that stuff. So... In the morning, folks, I'm going to go watch the Hoover's Garage.
Your mom got up and cooked his breakfast. There we are all set up. We did the detach last night. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. Some child out there screaming. <laughs> there she is. Well, you can get you some flip flops. I know. They ain't got to sit up here. Jody's gonna retire his moccasins. I eat. <laughs> I think they eat the problem. They talk brand. I don't know if they consider it problem. No, they talk brand. That made them. <laughs> That's better. You gotta put some spirit in it. You'd be fine. I got rentals right there. Or you go buy one. We'll rent you one. It's like prepaid drowning. <laughs> Too. I can't think of this. I can't either. Little teeny tiny baby duck. Yes, I didn't see the second one. Maybe they find a lot of fossils here. Jody wanted to come to this Kiwi Outdoors boat shop, so let's go in here and see what it's all about. Well, we took a little trip down the road and grabbed some stuff from a little shop over here. Sunglass thing, what do they call? It's like a tether lanyard thing for your sunglasses so that they don't go flying off. And we got Cody a pool float. Hold on. Them a things, whatever these little things is called. So you're hooked to your back. I don't know if you even saw them. But anyway, that thing. Whatever those are called, we got those now. Because I'm about to go swimming and I don't want to lose my Ray Bands. These are the ones Cody got me for Christmas last year, year before. You don't know? 
I call you Ted. I go through about a pair of Ray-Bans a year. So I always get the exact same ones. I have to get another pair. Ray-Ban Aviator Classics in gold with the polarized lenses. And I just keep getting the same ones over and over and over because I don't like change. I don't like change. So now we're behind Mom and Jody. We're headed back to the campsite. So let's get on down there. Standing in the middle of the outside, we have Mr. J Mark. And the man in the hat that we don't know who he is. He just showed up to commentate. <laughs> I hope that you can hear all that in that video. I'm sure you can. I hope so. <laughs> I'm going by these folks. I'm going to go to the water now. No yeah, commentary for you to be. Is there nothing for you to add in there? It's hot. Houseboat. Moments before disaster. Oh. And birds. birds. You see the birds? We're just chilling here, hanging out. I already put that inside there. And then that started rolling in. And it's moving really fast. So we uh, packed up our all the loose valuables. Got all the electronic stuff inside beside the fan. We'll get it in. And anything that we didn't want wet is now inside. But look at look at that. See, it all looked like this just a few minutes ago. I'm about to put that awning in. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna put the awning in. It does though, doesn't it? <laughs> Got real choppy real fast. Pulled down. <laughs> yeah, significantly. You said the real fill was what, 103? Earlier. Feels like 80 right now. We're fixing the what? No. This, what would they call this? Low pressure? When it moves in yeah, but see, the severe thunderstorm Yeah, but it's definitely not feeling like 99. No. Like, if we had feel a vision. <laughs> but look, it's showing that it's going to be severe until after 9, and it is currently 5.12. Ah. So, do I get in the tent? <laughs> do I get in the car? <laughs> and then we dig a hole, get in the water, fall out shelter. Or it'll just go right over us, and we don't have to worry about anything. Maybe the humidity will be <laughs> 70, only 74%. They got him one. Got my fish. Let's see it there, Gilligan. You've been chasing it all night. Is that a catfish? Mm-hmm. Little one. Thank you, fish. Now you can come eat. 
<laughs> so speaking of eating, we got the Domino's. And mom got some garlic concoction thing. Let's see that back. Look at that. I ain't never even seen that. It's delightful. It's delightful, she says. How big was that catfish? Uh, a pound or <laughs> and Ooh. Is that what y'all ordered? Mm -hmm. I know what we're going to do after a while. We're on day three and morning coffee. Today is also checkout day for us. So mom and Jody have already packed their tent up and uh, got most of their stuff loaded in the old Chevrolet. I'm, I'm not hooked up yet. We have all day. We've got a late checkout. We can check out anytime we feel like today or we can stay the night again. We got an extra night, so. I'm just gonna drink some coffee, listen to the water. And now that a lot of other people are pulling out of here, it's even quieter than it was before. It's kind of nice. As long as it just doesn't get so hot today. I think after this weekend, we're going to look for somewhere way up in the mountains. Get the cold air. Crocodiles are making a whole bunch of noise. <laughs> I was swimming over here just a minute ago. I'm try to do this without throwing the camera in the water. But I was standing right out here, and this big old school of fish just came up. They were just swimming all around my legs. I don't know if you can see them or not, but there's hundreds. little fish and they're all down here I don't know if you can see it from the glare of the water or not but just all these little fish just swimming around. Cody. Mom and Jody just left out about Ten minutes ago. We're gonna hang out for a little bit longer. Probably roll out around four so I can get everything packed up to leave. So we ate some leftovers for lunch, took a little nap, and now it's time to pack everything up so that we can go. So we're gonna start with the inside. I'm gonna leave everything running, the air and everything until the very last minute. I still have to fill up our gray water tank because I want to flush the system. Uh, not the gray water, the fresh water tank. I want to get it over halfway full and then I'll run the sinks and stuff um, and let a bunch of it drain from the toilet and in the black water tank. That way, when we get to the drain station, it's got a lot of, it's got more water in it than anything else. Flush it all out better. Also get all the, get, got to get all the tables and chairs put up, the jacks off, all that stuff, hook it up to the truck. So let's get to picking up our mess. So our scamper has this uh, connectable table and it goes on to these pieces right here and there's plastic covers that are on the picnic table that cover these to look like that when they're not in use. But we're, we use these two, I didn't know you had to take all three off. So anyway, what I'm gonna do right now is put the table folded up. It goes in a box, I'll just put it back in the box 
and slide it under the front and then we'll start packing up all the chairs get the chairs in there all that stuff on this side of the what pass through storage whatever you call that so let's do that first we got the covers after the table's done let's snap them back on two of them on upside down cool beans and that's it they just push on there and keep crap from getting on that metal rod and it rusting. This is a hanger for trash bags and possibly another little table thing. We're not sure because our propane connection is right here to access uh, propane from your tanks on the front. And then the fan will go in the camper and then all that's left to do is to unlevel it and then connect her to the pick em up truck. And then we'll carry it over to the dump station and we'll empty out our black tank. I grabbed the broom out of the push or the passageway thing so we can sweep it out, make sure there's nothing hanging around in there. And we still have to fill up our fresh water tank, the holding tank, whatever for that. <sighs> And this is the bag that all the blocks go in and then our new drain hoses will go in one of those plastic hefty containers with our water connections i'm using a regulator lead free keeping the pressure right around 30 psi uh, that was a preset um, position when you buy the filter there's a flathead screw up here that can be tightened or loosened to adjust more or less water pressure that seemed to work fine for us so on these pump style handles you push it down and that'll turn that off hey Cody so now what we'll do is we'll go in the camper and turn on a faucet to let it drain out whatever water is left pressurized in the system this one and that's gonna let that drain get all the pressure out of it Cody will do the same thing for the bathroom just to make sure it should be good to go so we have disconnected from our city water connection with the water off Cody has got the hose going into our fresh water holding tank I'm gonna open this up just a little bit See the pressure start to come up. Oh well, I guess since it's not connected to a anything to stop it, it won't come up. And you know, to be honest, I don't know how big our freshwater tank is. Probably should have figured that out first. So we'll put some in it. I'll go inside and I'll check the levels. Coming in here to check it now. Let's see, battery fresh. And there's fresh to press it and we're at two-thirds to full so that's good enough our black water is at one-third our gray water one-third and our batteries fully charged so we're good to go that'll be plenty enough to add some to the black tank of just water flush it all out good to go now we can continue disconnecting everything and Cody's got these cool little bins for all of it to go in. It's still on the front, so I don't go in the way. I got a drill, put the socket on it to raise and lower these pretty quick. Ooh, that's hot. And then we can grab the pads out, which go in the little blue bag. All of our hose stuff for fresh water's in here. This is a potable hose. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. We grabbed one on our way in. All that goes in here, and then the, it'll go into the pass-through storage. Voila! I told you you'll get the rest of the uh, things. So everything's undone, besides the leveling blocks and the awning. So let's jump in the old dirty dodge. Get her not warmed up because it's like 95 degrees, but. running get her air conditioning on and 
able to back it up and get hooked up. We are off our jacks, we are off our blocks, we are just waiting on Cody now. The air conditioning is still plugged in. I was leaving it running for the last minute. So, campsite's all cleaned up. We can go in here and shut it down. The refrigerator. Turn it off. Just like so. Power's all unhooked. Cody's out of the shower. Let's get this girl out of this sleeping spot. Let's see. I already did. Get her up on the pavement here. I need to get a set of tow mirrors for this thing, but they're expensive. This being the you know 99 and up has the different door plug in, so my mirrors off my 94 that are tow mirrors don't plug in. The plug-ins are different because there's like two generations of RAM. One of them's a facelift. Or not a facelift, but they upgraded the interior. Here we are at the dump station. <laughs> well, we are professionals now. We have emptied our shit tank. I watched. <laughs> yeah, Cody watched. I did it. And I did I'm it. Not doing it. All by myself. It's really not that bad. I don't know why everybody thinks that's the worst part of this. You hook the two hoses up, pull the lever crank, and away it goes. And then. When that's Washes done, yeah, you, you go inside, flush the toilet a few times, it runs clean water down through it, then all this left is emptying your gray water, which, psh, that's just your bath water. Ain't nothing to it. So now I'm gonna go back down here to the bathrooms, or not the bathrooms, but the, the trash station, and throw away all our trash, and then we're gone. <laughs> like that ah, my phone cut out but we are home what are you doing little buddy what are you doing we're gonna go unpack everything uh as little as we absolutely have to right now and then we're gonna ride over to mom's have some dinner and call it a day so we'll catch y'all in the next one thank you all for watching